to Vandersloot. Looking for the win. Final few seconds here of regulation. Misumit to Vandersloot to win it. She hit it. She hit it. Courtney Vandersloot. She hit it. Rebecca gets the ball, gives it up to Sloot. He looks like she loses the handle. Gives it up. Look at Misumit. Boom. I think the crowd saw what we just saw, Lisa. They got to make sure there's no time left on the clock. I think the shot is good, but is there time left? As the ball goes through the hoop. Yep, this was over. It's over. Vander Sloot throwing it in once again. Misumin with Yonescu on her, a mismatch outside to Parker. Here's Vandersloot for three, and it rattles in. Diggin Smith, aggressive to the basket, got it taken away. In the Chicago sky. We're gonna go on Rebecca Gardner. She wasn't even involved in the play. Okay, they corrected now, the foul was... Vandersloot gets the screen from Dolson. Eight to shoot. Vandersloot stops, fades, and hits! Fouls. Vandersloot. Courtney puts it up and in with 20.9. No one there. No one there. Atlanta needs a hoop. That's just a nice move and shot from behind the screen by Vandersloot. Jenkins really does a nice job of being strong with the basketball. Tapped out off the miss, desperation half court. Oh! 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 And here's the question, will they count it? I think that they will. A little bit of pimp coming out in Courtney Vandersloot there. Deep three beyond half court. Nothing but net. What a way to close out the first Courtney and the sky. Courtney Vandersloot. First points of the game come on a deep three. And ten minutes in, the sky closing with a flurry off the Indiana miss. And I love the fact that Courtney Vandersloot doesn't give up on that. What a launch. And the kids are loving it. Bangs in as we head to the second. Her competitiveness and her passing ability are unparalleled. I love her competitiveness and that part of her leadership uh, was something that was a little bit unique um, to us. She wasn't the most vocal player that we had from the get-go. She became a very vocal player, but right off the bat you knew that she was someone you wanted to play hard for. You realize when you're watching Courtney play that you're experiencing something special every time she steps on the court. She doesn't have a bad day. I'm just thankful that I was able to watch a player like that because you don't get a lot of those. Some coaches only get to coach one in their career. Some never get to coach a player like that in their career. On Monday, former Gonzaga point guard Courtney Vandersloot made history as she recorded 18 assists in a contest. Turnover. Sloot leading the break. Perfect pass. It's a one possession game. Vandersloot gets the screen from Dolson. Eight to shoot. Vandersloot stops, fades, and hits! Yes! That's it! For the first time in franchise history, the Chicago Sky are WNBA champions! So my name is Courtney Vandersloot, and I am a WNBA basketball player. So I grew up in Kent, Washington, and I started at Martin Sartoon Elementary and then went to Emerald Park when it was opened. And then I went to Meridian Junior High at the time. And then I went to Kentwood and I graduated Kentwood High School in 2007. My name is Jersey Huerta. I'm a junior and I play basketball at Kentwood. I've been playing basketball for as long as I can remember, honestly. I come from a sports family, so it's just been natural. And um, I've been playing basketball for the Kent School District since like middle school <laughs> until now. Oh, I went to Matson Middle School. <laughs> My name is Anaya Washington, and I'm a junior. I play basketball. I played with Jersey at Matson. I started playing basketball around like kindergarten, and then like took a break and took it serious around the fifth grade. I joined my first AAU team in fifth grade, and I went to Matson High Middle School, 
and then from there, like been playing with KSD to high school. Well, I started probably when I was around five, you know, at Kent Parks and Rec, um, you know, just a seasonal thing. And then when I was old enough to play in junior high, it was the first like school team that I played for starting in seventh grade. It was still a junior high there. So I played till ninth grade at Meridian. And then I played three years at varsity, on varsity basketball for Kentwood. You know, I loved my time in, in Kent and I loved growing up there. It was a perfect place to be raised. Um, you know, I, it definitely shaped who I am today. Um, even even now, I haven't lived in Washington in over 10 years, but Kent is still is still home to me. You know, I remember back in high school. Um, you know, it's been a, it's been a little bit, but I do remember you know always being pushed to be a best version of myself. Um, you know, I remember going and and always being taught that you know this is a place to succeed, and um, everybody's journey is different, but you know everybody had an opportunity that started in high school, and and you could make really make something of yourself and you know, leave there um, a better person and continue to grow and, you know, really be an important part of the community. I feel like the coaching staff definitely push you to like strive in like not only basketball, but like in the classroom too. And like the teachers are like on you even more about your homework because like they know that you're an athlete. So it's like, just like really like do good and they'll like help you more. So, yeah. You know, the league was very young when I was, um, that age and I remember like just being so excited that there was a women's professional league and that I could you know aspire to be there one day um you know it wasn't until w much later in my career that I thought wow this is really possible um you know I remember being told that I was too small and um you know that I wasn't fast enough or strong enough whatever it was um, to, to play at like a really high level I ignored those people that said I wasn't good enough and I you know just continued to work hard and I was able to make something of myself. I mean, it's really cool to like know that she's in the WNBA now and once was in the position I'm in. So like, it's something to really look up to and know that like, I can do the same because she started where I am now. I would say some advice that that is important for people just striving to be just successful in general is, um, you know, you have to put in the work. I think that's kind of that is what's got me to where I am today is that I was willing to outwork anybody. I've never had like, you know, I've never been the strongest or the fastest, um, the best really at at anything. Um, but I just continued to work hard and found a place that that valued me as a person and as a player. Um, so I think you know, just always put your best foot forward, be a good person, um, and and always work as hard as you can, and and you'll definitely be successful at whatever it is. I feel like any professional athlete that's higher than I am inspired me to be there because they did something right to get there. So coming from her, it's like she was on the same court that I'm at, the same school that I'm at. So like knowing that she came from here makes me feel like I can come from here and like get higher just like her. So I'm proud to be from and, and was raised in the Kent School District and, um, you know, it played a big role in my journey. And, you know, I it was so long ago, but I don't know if I'm here today. If I was if I wasn't raised in you know in that area and um, go go through that school system, so you know I'm proud to be a member of the of the Kent School District for sure.